Hello and welcome to Thought for January the 30th. Our readings are Exodus chapters 1 and 2, Psalm 53, 54 and 55, and Romans chapters 7 and 8. And our thought is, we wait eagerly for. Paul's letter to the Romans contains some of the most meaningful and thought-provoking words in Scripture. It is extremely challenging to read it and embrace all its points in our minds. Maybe more than any other book in the Bible, this calls for our diligent and meditative study. But this is the challenge of the whole Bible. It is not at all like a school textbook that you go through in a year's study and then leave on the shelf for occasional reference. God's Word is designed by Him for our lifelong reading and reflection. Paul had been brought up under the law of Moses with all its rules and regulations. He had been zealous for the law, but as a result of his dramatic conversion on the road to Damascus, he had, with God's help, through the Spirit, applied his mind to the new reality of eternal things, especially to a personal relationship with his Saviour. The law of Moses was a law for Israel as a nation. This law had been superseded by a situation in which each individual needed to develop a personal relationship with their Saviour, the Lord Jesus Christ, and with his Father, and through him is now our Father. Paul writes, For I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worth comparing with the glory that is to be revealed to us. For the creation waits with eager longing, as we read in chapter 8, verses 18 and 19. This sense of eagerness is felt by all those who see the emptiness in so much of what people enjoy today. But it is all creation that waits for the removal of the curse imposed in Eden. We learn in Genesis how God said to Adam, Cursed is the ground because of you. Genesis 3 verse 17. Paul goes on to say, We groan inwardly as we wait eagerly for adoption as sons and daughters, the redemption of our bodies. Verse 23. How true is the word eagerly, especially as we grow older and our minds and bodies feel the effects. Those who find this life satisfying and enjoyable will not genuinely wait eagerly for that which is going to replace it. But for many in the world, this life offers little that is enjoyable. So so they are often in a far more spiritually acceptable frame of mind before God. Finally, let us read carefully and prayerfully the last eight verses. Verses 31 to 39 of Romans chapter 8. And while you do that, we thank you for joining us for Thought for the Day, where together we can open up the pages of God's Word, knowing that Word to be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. Mm